I decided to choose Project Lead the Way because it was engineering and that's what I've wanted to go into since I was in fourth grade. Project Lead the Way classes have definitely helped me figure out kind of what I want to do. I decided because of the class that I want to be a pediatrician. Probably a doctor, osteopathy. I definitely know that I want to go into engineering. I want to work with math, I want to work with science, and it's a perfect combination of both. I want to be an atom model of engineering. Project Lead the Way will certainly help me in my future career. I think it gives kids an extra option, uh, an opportunity to examine a different career path. We're asking students to take rigorous course pathways, uh, taking the classes that are challenging for them. I took aerospace, civil engineering and architecture, POE, which is principles of engineering, principles of engineering and digital electronics. Well, I took principles of biomedical science, human body systems. My counselor told me I took the principles of biomedical science. These courses have really helped me focus on what I want to do. They've exposed me to more material that I'm interested in. I really think this class has helped me reaffirm that I would like to be an engineer when I grow up. The biomedical science program has been awesome. I've learned a lot. I've got to do way cool things I never thought I would be able to do in school. I'm actually planning on going to med school. I'm trying to either be an anesthesiologist or maybe some kind of surgeon. If we look at this. One of the differences in a Project Lead the Way class is that it's a lot more hands-on than a lot of other classes. Hands-on. 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 We don't use textbooks. I don't like to be up in the front of the room talking 24-7. I mean, and the kids don't like that either. It's more of an independently driven class. It's more about your motivation to how much effort you want to put into a project to see how good everything comes out. I like to be a facilitator where I'm walking around helping instead of just here's what you do, here's what you do. A lot of the classes you're just learning general information about the subjects. With these, you actually get to learn the information and then apply it. You actually get to see the outcome of the problems you've solved. Today's youth really thrive off of well, what I get out of this. Project Lead the Way is pretty committed to application-based learning. I never hear the question, why will I ever need to know this? Or why does this apply to me? A lot of people, when you're in math classes, will ask, well, when are we ever going to use this in our lives? So rather than sitting in your math class asking, why do I need so sine, cosine, and tangent, we're actually using it and we're launching things and calculating distances and seeing how that works. It all just kind of like comes together. Students who are in these classes are able to more quickly make connections with the mathematics we're studying within Algebra 2 or within Calculus. You're learning it in the classroom and then you're coming here and seeing how it's actually used in the world. Did this class make you want to go into a healthcare career field? Student engagement is always through the roof and Project Lead the Way. It's an elective class so everyone that's in the class wants to be here so everyone's always on task and helping out in groups. Project Lead the Way curriculum caters to students who are strong in math and science and also want to be in engineering. Everybody gets their work done when they need to get it done and if they don't they come in early or they stay after school to make sure that all the projects are done on time. These are people who are passionate about a subject and want to work towards it. I think when students get involved in engineering, I think they have to have a very strong math and science background, but it gives them a chance at the high school level to get a strong foundation if they want to continue to pursue it at the college level. We all know the world we live in, it's only going to keep getting more technical. Right now in the United States, we definitely have a need for engineers. And engineering in college, to try to cram all of what they need into four years, they start off really hard and so it's really good to prepare them in high school. Is this for me? Is this what I'm good at? Is this what I'm passionate about? And if it is, then they have a head start on other students and if it's not, that they've gotten that figured out ahead of time. And even if it's not exactly their passion, they still pick up a lot of valuable skills while they're in these courses. Even if you don't think you want to be a doctor or anything even close, just do it just for the experience. I think the biomed classes have helped me decide what I want to do for college or career. I totally would not have known that I wanted to do engineering for college if I hadn't have taken this program. And it has broadened my ideas of where I want to go to college and made me like pick schools that do have really good engineering programs. I'm probably going to get an engineering technology degree. 
with a specialization in digital electronics. Next year I plan on going to school at Pin Valley Community College for nursing and continue on and trained to be an oncology nurse. Last year we graduated 10 seniors um, and they're all going to school right now. They're all in college for engineering or engineering related fields. I ran into some former students that go to UMKC right now and it is neat to see them following up with engineering. My plan has been to go to uh, college in engineering. It really changes the way you think about things and the way you problem solve just in any day-to-day -day tasks. It really has affected my life. It was just kind of the obvious choice for me.